Hello and welcome back to some more fun with controlling Reaper with controllers. Um, something I was not actually aware of is that automation is not sent back to the controller. I thought it was happen automatically, but it does not. So I applied now all the envelopes from Reaper also to the device. And as you can hear, see here with my Icon Cucum Pro controller, if there are several uh, controls running and you see also the volume fader moving you see the panorama changing and you can see the mute state changing that that is what is supported now volume panorama mute and also the send volume same you see here on the push two, you see it's moving like crazy and also here on my control novation control mark 2 you also see the faders moving and talking about the control mark 2 uh, I just released also a bit big video about about the integration with devices now and the feature set here with Reaper is exactly the same. Also here with Reaper you use the clear key to toggle to that device mode and we select here the second channel so we can see the reverb plugin I loaded in and there you can also change all the devices you want to change and you can toggle devices here with the cursor keys. I just have one device in here also the encoder and also go through the pages with the encoder and you see always here on top it's a plugin name the page we are currently at and the parameter name what i forgot to mention in the bitwig video is that you can also press the encoder and by doing so you can open and close the window of the plugin oh that's already it for driven by mouse for reaper 7.03 enjoy it and make some funky music